Hey folks, Trevor here again with Breaking Muscle. Last week we looked at the press. Today we're going to look at the push press. Very similar, but a little bit different. The push press is the second shoulder movement in the series of three. Of the press, the push press, and the jerk. Now the difference between the press and the push press is on the push press, we get to get a little bit of momentum from our legs. So I'm going to hold the bar in a similar location, dip down, and then drive the bar straight up using the strength of my legs to help assist. So I'm going to come down and then drive straight up and lock. It's not like a jerk where I'm going to drive up and then re-dip. So some things to think about on this. A lot of people like to dip with their hips below them or underneath them. This isn't a stable position and it's not really good for your low back either. You never see a wrestler line up or a football player line up and go, okay, I'm ready for someone to hit me. So when we dip, we're going to dip ass back, straight up. The hand position is very similar to the press, where I'm going to come into the bar on a little bit of an angle, pick that bar up, so my arms are straight, my wrists are straight, and then again, it's a quick dip and a drive up overhead. At the top of the movement, just like on the press, you should be able to see my ears out the side. So I'm not trying to do some kind of dipping bench press or dipping throw behind. It's a dip, a drive, and a lock, bring the bar back down. So remember, this dip is quick, just like in basketball or volleyball. You're not going to go 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and then try to get the bar overhead. It's a quick, explosive dip and drive. Bring the bar down to my chest, walk it back to the, the rack, it's metal, and I drop. That's your push press. We'll see you next week for some more. Thank you.